I've been using an acrylic gel medium for binding purposes. I'm placing down the uh, what will, is the back of the front of the postcard, and then I take my brush and I brush on the acrylic gel medium. And what I do is I create a kind of a border or a frame around the back of the card, leaving it so that the center is still dry and doesn't have any of the glue on it. Once I do that, I grab one of the download codes and put it in the dry center. This will create uh, the pocket inside. I take another piece of paper, usually a thinner one, which will be the back of the postcard, and put that down on top of that. I press it on there, and then I remove it from this paper I've been working on top of so I don't get any of the excess medium on it. And then I go around and I press things down firmly so that they get really stuck together. I always use the, the second piece of paper. I always cut it a little bit larger. Um, that way there is room to catch any excess gel. Then I'll take it over and put it underneath something heavy. In my case, I've got a larger amount of uh, records I can't sell, so I'm using that for weight. So I let that sit for a while, and then I come back, and here we have the dried cards. I peel those off, and now they're ready for trimming. I take that over to the cutting board, and what I do is I always cut a little bit of both pieces of paper off. So, you know, in this case, a little bit of the brown with a little bit of the, uh, you know, manila or whatever you would call that. Trim a little bit of both of that off. And what this does is it uh, creates a nice even cut. So that there's nothing that's going to be able to get snagged and torn off while going through the mail. At this point, I have a card, or a postcard, with a uh, download code inside of it. Now what's left to do is the art for the month. Here's a few quick shots of me working on the July, which is the first postcard. Just to give you an idea of an art process. Though, you know, this will change monthly depending on what I am doing for the printing or the art. Then, all right, so now you have a finished postcard, ready to be mailed. But how do you get the download card out of this postcard? So you've seen that there is this pocket, pretty much an air pocket, in the middle of the postcard in which the download card is sitting. So what you want to do is you're going to take a, a razor, preferably, or or a sharp knife, and you want to carefully make a slice down the back of the card. Now you can pretty much see where the air bubble is if you look at the back of the postcard. But on the first card, I'm sending along with a red dotted line that'll show you, you know, where to cut. Make a make a slice there, and then you'll be able to kind of open it up and have this little pocket in which you can pull the download card out. You know, I'm not actually doing this because I don't want to destroy one of the cards because they take a while to make, but that's basically the gist of it. And, you know, though the, the stocks and the art and everything else will change monthly depending on what the design is and everything, uh, this process is going to remain the same. So that's the secret. Um, this is the musical postcard series on Folktale Records. It's a 12 month subscription. Uh, you'll get one of these every month for a year, starting in July of 2014. So, if you want to be a part of this uh, series and get a unique piece of art along with a exclusive recording by a different artist every month, you can go to the website and um, sign up. Well, they're still available.